dough. Lil' Birdie told me you got a mod shop. We in business, fool. Come on through. This a do. Shit, this a do. I could do my thing in here. Where's our partner at? I don't know. We should make ourselves at home, baby. Shit. <laughs> Come here, girl. You need to take all this shit off. You a bad. Uh, you a bad. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Bring that ass over here. Shit. Mm. Got me all still. Been there the whole time. Oh shit, you here? We'll finish this a little later, baby. Come on, let's go and take care of this business. Let's get a look at you. You were with Mimi, right? At the car meet. You don't look like much of a driver to me. You heard what she said. <laughs> you look like a. <laughs> Just kidding, baby. But I've seen this girl turn a tired V6 into a red hot killer, baby. And I don't even want to tell you what she did to this inline eight. Mm. She also knows people. And if she's saying she don't like what the she see? I'm sorry, but y'all gonna have to show us something special, you dig? It just so happens I got something you can help me with. One time took my pink slip. They got my car. The same one you saw us in at the meet? Get it out the impound lot and bring it back here. If you is what you say you is, it should be easy. If it ain't, this little business arrangements we got between us all, it's over before you even get started. Don't be in this wasting my Time. We'll see you back here. Don't be too quick. Baby girl got some body work to do. <laughs> oh, do I now? <laughs> oh, baby, bring that too. <laughs> but I only use it for very special occasions. Special occasions is what I got right here in my pants. <laughs> Now don't get too crazy with that, you hear? Remember, just a little friendly test. The station gonna be locked down tight. Let's see what you can do. your private security needs. How can I help?
goodbye then. did good. Come on up. We got something for you. 
We got one more little thing to take care of, then we can get down to business, okay? We need to know for sure that you ain't a cop. You might have some friends down at the impound lot that you know. We gotta do what we gotta do to protect ourselves. Lucky for you, there's an easy way to prove it. You know what this is? Undercover or not, a cop can't do one of these. Hold up. Hold up, <laughs> It's just sweetness. <laughs> but you were gonna do it. <laughs> okay, shit. I guess you could, you could. But let's get down to business while we're here. See, when I first came out here, I saw a town full of tight jean wearing chasing each other with rockets. And I thought, y'all leaving money all on the <laughs> table for me to take? Well, that's exactly what the f I'm about to do. Take that shit. The two of us put our heads together and we came up with a plan. Banks, dealers, the government, we sticking up all of we them. We put the jobs on the wall, you pick one. We hit it. With the right plan, the right car, and the right <laughs> behind the wheel, everything and anything's possible. Kenny's gonna be out finding new scores doing his thing. I'll be here fixing up the rides, working with y'all.
Yes, we're open. kinds of people. People who remember how to count. And people who we can convince a new way of counting while fleecing them for every penny they've got and then charging them for the pleasure. Capitalism depends on one thing and one thing only a steady supply of idiots. Idiots, just like you. You're paying for an education. What's wrong with reading books on our own? <laughs> well, two things. First, reading is for pussies. Nobody ever learned anything useful from reading a book. Second of all, you're not here to learn. You're here to meet people just like yourself and lay down on that same conveyor belt as everyone else. The conveyor belt that says, if I do the right things, if I play the game dirty enough, if I eat enough babies, then I too can become stinking rich and soulless. Let me be clear. I am stinking rich and soulless. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah. Awesome. Amazing. Woo! Oh. oh my god, Mr. Fitch! I loved your lecture. That was amazing. I love how you made stocks seem like totally exciting. Yeah, yeah, and how, how buying a share is sort of like f***ing and pillaging, only in a cool way. Ladies, make this quick. You're costing me time, and time is a cliché. You think I'm going to take you under my wing and become a father figure to you so that you can date my daughter and then betray me in the end? Well, stop wasting my time, and let's get on with this narrative gangbang. Okay, Sounds yeah, let's good. do it. Listen, I've got a sports car. I'm rich, and I'm busy, but nothing gives me more joy than corrupting greedy young innocents. Except, I can only take one of you. So, say goodbye to your friend. But, but, but we're, we're best friends. We, we, we moved to Liberty City together to pursue our dreams of, of trading stocks. Sorry, bud. It's time to say goodbye to you and to see some glamorous images set to power pop. Holding you and the narrative back, all this to be yours. Wait, you mean the whole city? Just as long as you forsake your friends and your values. Yeah, count me in. Ah, what was that? Holy. Oh. So you're saying that all this is yours? All from selling pieces of other people's businesses. I knew at that moment it was time to introduce a portentous voiceover. Stocks credit default swaps, the whole capitalistic circle jerk. Jesus, man, you make math sound so homoerotic. It's just like football. You build up an analogy. You pat another man on the buttocks. Then the whole thing falls apart and everyone gets brain damage. Okay, yeah, I think I, think I get it. Who was she? A hot, brainless woman to act as a plot device? Was she my love interest? That's Miranda. She'll never be fully explained. Also, she won't talk. 
The Actors Union lets us pay extras at half the rate. That's how I got this yacht, Dylan. By screwing the worker. That's what made this country the way it is. Wait, so Abner, seriously, like, what's the deal with this? I mean, you, you take me under your wing and everything's really exciting, but it's also at the same time a little bit creepy. But we haven't even discussed synthetic collateralized stock options or, or mortgage-backed securities or even exotic DNA swaps. Oh, you want to have, have a real conversation? You want to go there? You're ready to face the big boys and the bold facts of the world and the way it works? Well, let's go stand in the middle of a park for literally no reason. I see something in you, Dylan. You seem naive and in need of a father figure, because yours probably died or is gay. Um... But you're also hungry and greedy and vindictive, which I like! Yeah. I'm a lion. I eat my young. But in your case, I'm gonna make an exception. You're the son I always wanted. And if you think that this is setting up an event in Act or Two later when I will present you with a clear moral dilemma, then you were wrong. Wait, really? It's happening now. Let's look at some graphs and scales and images of skyscrapers. America really is amazing. Did you know that we're the world's leading country at graphics? Listen, kid, nothing makes me feel more alive then crushing a man in business, then destroying a large chunk of the economy. You really are a titan. I am the Archduke of Metaphors. I am the... <coughs> I am... <coughs> oh. No, 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 don't die. No, you're not finished yet, please. You can't die on me. <coughs> what, are you crying? <coughs> yeah, I thought you were dead. I can't die yet. My work here isn't finished. My masterpiece awaits. What about the talking monkey that we haven't met yet? Or, 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 or the unexplained dog bark? Or, or my best friend that got written out? Or, or, or the sequel rights? What about the useless VO that no one needs? Screw you. Come here, I want to show you something. What are you doing? I've hacked into every major stock company on the exchange. Wait, just now? That seems like really easy. Now we can't get bogged down with the realities of IT and technology. Just know this, with a stroke of a button on this untraceable laptop, every publicly traded company on the boss sack will be wiped out. And I've shorted the lot. A complete meltdown. Finally, he said the title. Good. We can use this scene in the trailer. I'll scoop up shares through shell corporations and make billions, hundreds of billions. I won't have this monkey on my back, foreshadowing. Nobody can f stop me. I just said I'm an outlaw. That means we get an R rating. Wait, does that mean that we have to have sex with the same woman and then like watch each other while we do it? Thankfully not. Okay. But just know this, nothing can stop me now. It's uh, me. Yeah, right. What are you going to do, fling your shit at me? <sighs> not him. Me, Chip! You fools won't ruin my plan. We'll race through the city at high speed. <laughs> I've just pressed this button, and now tense music is playing, and there's data moving really quickly. Oh my god. If we don't get that laptop, good, honest capitalism is dead. We've got to get that computer! Dude, why'd you let the monkey dry? Because it looks cool. It also probably says something about society, which may or may not be racist, sexist, and or stupid. Oh shit!
Stains, dead. Mud, dead. Cat vomit, dead. Including the cat. Moon blood. Whatever it is, it's dead. Coffee, bye bye you're dead. Dead cheerleader, you're still dead. And ink stains, dead. Dead, dead. Your teenager is shooting DNA on every surface of the house. Mr. Spot cleans it away. If you want, it'll even clean him away. Mr. Spot, a squirt is all you need. Then boom, nothing lives on.